Guys, God is so powerful. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 15 says, Surely the nations are like a drop in a bucket. They are regarded as dust on the scales. He weighs the islands as though they were fine dust. You see, this verse shows us that compared to God, nations, kingdoms, people, continents, everything is nothing compared to God. They're like a drop in a bucket. Like think about a bucket, like a bucket maybe this big. It's like one little drop of water. You can't even notice it. That's how small things are compared to God, right? You know, the Bible says the government is on Jesus' shoulders. It says he's the Prince of Peace and the government shall rest on his shoulders. You see, we have to realize that God is over all things. He's sovereign. So, you know, we can see all these things happening politically. We can see all these wars. We can see all this chaos in my own life. We can see these things that lead us to frustration. But we need to remember the nations are just a drop in the bucket. They're like dust on a scale. It's not even noticeable. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. He's powerful. We realize how mighty God is. It gives us peace in life because we can look at the world and see it and think it's in chaos, but God's saying, I'm in control, even in the midst of chaos. And Jesus is coming back soon. And he's coming back very soon. We have to be ready. And he's going to make all wrong things right. And he's going to come back in the battle of Armageddon spoken of in Revelation chapter 19 and he's going to restore and create a new heavens and a new earth that's what we're looking forward to but until then we trust that God's in control one more passage to think about Psalm 46 Psalm 46 talks about how the nations are raging there's war but it says that God is in the midst of her at the end of Psalm 46 it's a passage about warfare it says be still and know that I am God God's reminding us to be still in the midst of chaos because he's God and then he says in verse 11 I will be exalted among the nations I will be exalted among the earth God will ultimately be exalted he ultimately wins the battle the battle belongs to the Lord so trust in the Lord despite what's going on in the world